Hi everybody, I thought I would make a video about boron. I posted a uh, Facebook uh, post the other day talking about boron and the more research I do into boron, the more I believe that everybody should be taking boron. It is such a needed trace mineral that has been depleted in our soils and we're not getting it in. And you're sitting there thinking, okay, what can boron do for me? Well, I'm gonna tell you first off, being a woman, osteoporosis, osteopenia, it actually helps with our bones. It actually helps us to pull in vitamin D, helps us to pull in the calcium. So it helps with maintenance and also the growth of new bone. So that alone, boron, you need it. And if you buy some calcium supplements, you're gonna see that there is boron in there. I'm gonna argue it's not enough because I'm quoting a lot of stuff from a, a PubMed paper called uh, Nothing Boring, Boring About Boron. Okay, this is actually a PubMed article. I posted it online so you can go online and look at this article yourself. But they propose that you need at least three milligrams of boron a day and you can get it in from some of your foods that you're eating but the problem is again it's the soil is being depleted like here in indiana guys we live in what's known as the goiter belt our soils are depleted of iodine so so many women have thyroid issues and so many men too and they don't realize it but we need a lot more iodine in our diet and if we can't get it in we need to supplement with it so boron number one it really helps with bone health actually healing bones creating new bone it actually helps with us to absorb vitamin d so many of us are deficient in vitamin d and you've been taking vitamin d and you're not pulling it in First off, I'm gonna say is, if you eat pork of any kind, and I mean sausage, bacon, ham, tenderloin, pork chop, sausage, it's pork, lard, all pork. And any fish that does not have a scale, like tuna doesn't have a scale, catfish doesn't have a scale, lobster, crabs, scallops, none of them have scales. So pork and fish without scales, they affect your body on how well you absorb vitamin D. They help stop your body from absorbing vitamin D. So I tell people all the time, do not eat those foods. I know we all eat them. They're German heritage, but they don't do the body very well. Uh, in fact, guys, pork will stay in your system for six days wreaking havoc stopping you from absorbing vitamin D. And if you don't absorb vitamin D, your bone health is yucky, crap, okay? So guys, eliminate those foods from your diet. And I would suggest taking some boron. Guys, if you have osteopenia or osteoporosis, make sure you get in at least three milligrams of boron a day. And I'm gonna say six, because the, the PubMed article that I was looking at, every study that was conducted was over three milligrams a day. And I'm gonna tell you guys, it isn't just bone health that boron is going after. It also helps us absorb magnesium and helps make us use the magnesium much better. I mean, how many people do you hear they're low in magnesium? Well, wonder if it may be because they have a boron deficiency. Next thing boron does, wound healing. Okay, there's so many of you out there that have wounds that do not want to heal. I suggest start taking some boron. Now, the sex hormones, estrogen, testosterone, it affects those. It helps us to bring them in and to use them efficiently. I mean, that's huge. Premenopausal, postmenopausal women, I suggest you start taking some boron and see what it does for your hormones. And guys, testosterone, that's a big one for you. You might want to try taking some boron and see what it does. And it was interesting in this article, the results were shown quickly within one to two months that you could tell a difference from taking the boron. 
So that's what I like because you can see the results pretty quickly. Next thing, it reduces levels of inflammatory biomarkers. Okay, we've all heard of C-reactive protein and something called tumor necrosis factor TNF alpha. Okay, some of you guys are like, oh, I haven't heard of those, but you guys that have osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, always in your blood work are getting uh, inflammation markers like sed rate, uh, C-reactive protein, and they're usually elevated on you. They're finding that boron reduces inflammation markers in the body. So if you have osteoarthritis, even rheumatoid arthritis, I would suggest try to take boron and see what it does. I mean, they had people in this study that had osteoarthritis that were taking so many NSAIDs. An NSAID is like ibuprofen. And within 10 weeks, most of them were off or had greatly reduced the level of ibuprofen that they were taking. I thought that was amazing. This wasn't just a study on mice. It was a lot of study on the human body as well. Boron also helps to raise the level of uh, antioxidants. And there's a few of them, like glutathione. Glutathione's a big one in the body. It's one of the main antioxidants. By taking boron, helps us make glutathione. And a bunch of other ones. Also helps protect against pesticide-induced oxidative stress. Okay, you guys have heard of malathion, they spray it on trees and other things. There's all these pesticides out there. And these pesticides do affect the body. They create more free radicals in the body. It's called oxidative stress. They are finding that boron helps lessen the oxidative stress from these pesticides also helps with heavy metals as well. Guys, are you getting the idea that boron is involved in so many things in the body and if we are low in it, it affects the entire body in ways that we did not even think possible. Okay, listen up. Here's another one that boron has been shown to help with. Brain electrical activity, cognitive function. People that are suffering from Alzheimer's, dementia, are just, if you don't feel like your brain is firing the way it should be, I'd start taking some boron. And you're probably sitting there thinking, well, how much do I need? Well, this study said you need at least three milligrams of boron a day. I'm gonna say six. I'm gonna say that's what I would do, six milligrams a day. The upper limit that they consider to be safe is 20 milligrams a day. So you're well below that limit. But six milligrams, that was, that's a good, little bit higher number. Uh, people tolerate it very well. There's usually no side effects. Um, another thing boron does, helps with the molecules SAMe and NAD. Those are another two key biomolecules that help with not only our mood, but our anxiety, our stress, all kinds of things. Now there's two other things I'm gonna mention about boron. Um, it is shown to help prevent and help with the therapeutic effects dealing with some cancers, like prostate, cervical cancer, lung cancer, multiple and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Yeah just by taking boron. And it's also shown to help if you are battling cancer and are on a chemotherapy drug, it helps with that as well. So guys, I'm telling you, this article opened my eyes. Nothing boring about boron. And like I said, on my previous uh, Facebook link, I link where you can actually read this article. But I'm telling you, bone health, wound healing, absorption of vitamin D, absorption of magnesium, talking about helping building more of the hormones in the body that we need, the estrogen and the testosterone, SAMe, NAD, helping with cancer prevention, 
helping with chemotherapy drugs, helping reduce inflammation in the body. I mean, this is huge. So I just wanted to make a video and guys do a little research on your own. But I think taking a boron might be a beneficial supplement for almost everyone. Have a great day.